What an amazing message, brother. Thank you once again, Brother Munching. You are such an inspiration and such an amazing brother to have. And I'm so proud to call you brother as well. And I just want to let that message marinate for a moment. And actually, I, I ask you, watch this again. Let it marinate deeper into you. I know I will. And as I think about it, I just want to go back to our reflection of today. And as I reflect on our message of today, I want to remind you, Luke chapter 6, verse 38. Give and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed together, shaken down and overflowing will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will in return be measured out to you. The theme today is prosper in time of crisis. And Brother Munching explained it. It's hard to understand that message, how to truly prosper in time of crisis. And I hope his story shared a light with you, a guiding light. And I want to share a story why Brother Munching and I became so close. There was a time when I was struggling. And I told you that God knows how to send the right people. And not only did he send someone, he sent someone from the Philippines all the way here to stay in my mother's house. And he preached to me in a way, but not really. He just shared with me. Let me change that. He shared with me. He shared with me his story. And his sh story shared with me a light that made my story understandable. And I hope today we've done that for you. And then that time when I struggled, I struggled so much on how to build a ministry for God, how to build a business and do that for my family, and how to take care of my wife and my children. And I struggled wondering if I had to give up one to do the other. And he says to me, Brother Munching, and he says to me, I know it doesn't make sense, but truly, truly trust in him and you will receive. He says, have faith and you will receive. I know it doesn't make sense. I went through it too and I had to explain that to my family and then we receive. And brothers and sisters, I wanna to testify to you as well that the same thing happened for our family. We trusted and we received. And I hope and pray that if you are struggling, if you're going through tough times, know that it takes trust. And it takes faith. And you too will receive. And in this time, we need faith. But what is faith? Is faith knowing the answer and what will happen? I know you know the answer to that. Faith is trusting. Faith is believing. And I pray you will have faith. In this time... When I understand there are so much tumultuous times happening right now from COVID-19 to now this, this time in our, in our life, in our history, that is looking like we cannot be together, that we are being divided by racial tensions. Brothers and sisters, please don't let color divide us. Please allow us to be in unity. Allow us to understand that there are those who are hurt and they are rightfully hurt. And there are those who are looking at this time and they're looking at crisis and saying, yeah, I'm going to prosper, but they're going to prosper in the wrong way. And I don't believe all is one and one is all. I believe in that scenario, they are separate of each other. I believe there are those who have the right mind and the right heart and they're doing it properly and I believe there are those who are not doing it right please don't judge please allow yourself to not judge see one of the problems I'm noticing is we're so quick to point fingers and tell someone else they're wrong because we don't want to be bullied out of our point of view and I feel that's just anger and fear do not let anger and fear rule the day allow love and peace rule the day. Allow hope, joy, and faith rule the day. Let us not let fear and anger and worry rule. 
Amen, brothers and sisters. Let us let peace, love, hope, and joy rule in our lives and those around us. And as we look at it, let us not judge, but we must prepare ourselves for judgment by being good people, God's people. And what I believe is we need to have a dialogue. We need to communicate. We need to ask each other to trust and believe that communication with each other is the key. And I know it will take work and I know it won't be easy. But brothers and sisters, we were designed for this. We were designed for work. We were designed to take care of the garden, to tend it and mend it. And let us do that now. Let us tend and mend this garden so that we may bring heaven to earth. If you're with me, if you're here with us now, let us work to build unity, community, and be together and trust in his promises. Amen, brothers and sisters. So if you want to help, if you want to tend this garden, I call to you and ask you, let us know to be a minister with our cause, with our movement, to minister to the people. Don't sit idle. Don't just sit and watch. Let us know that you want to be a part of this. Let us know that you want to help in any way that you can. Because if you do, then we can do something. Because without you, we'll do less. But with you, we will do more. And I hope you want us to help us do more. Amen, brothers and sisters? So don't forget, let us know. Communicate with us. Have a conversation with us. And let us build community together. Amen, brothers and sisters. We love you. I want to remind you, I love you so much. Our community loves you so much. But as Brother Monching reminded us, God loves you so much more. Is that okay? <laughs>